This video is the first in a series that will demonstrate how to use Microsoft Word from the very basics to an advanced level. Let's get started. When you start Microsoft Word, this is the first screen that you're going to see. So you see that the screen is divided into two sections. The left section displays a list of documents that you have recently opened. It's like a, a history of your work with Word. List of all documents you have recently opened. And then on the right side, this is where you have to decide what you want to do. You probably want to create a document. So you have two options here. The first option is to create your document using a template. Now a template is simply a pre-designed document with all the structures in place, which you only need to put in your own content. For instance, this is a pre-designed letter. It shows you where you should type your address, where you should type the date, where you should type your main document. So it guides you. And then the other option is to create a blank document, which means you're going to start from the scratch. Because this is a learning video, we are going to start from the scratch. So we will create a blank document. So I double click on it and then it opens into Word proper. Now, when you look at the Word interface, as you're seeing right now, you see a whole lot of things. So let's see what they are all about. The first thing you will notice is this horizontal bar, this long horizontal bar at the top of the screen. Now this is called the ribbon. It contains a collection of all the tools you need to work with Word. So in the ribbon, you have tabs. It contains all the tools, but they are organized into tabs. Now let's look at the tabs. Th these are the tabs. Okay. Now the first tab is the file tab. This tab contains tools about files. If I click on the file, you see these are the things I can do with files. I can create a new file. I can open an old file. I can save a file. I can save an existing file as a different file. I can print a file. So these are the things you can do with your files. So this is what you, this is where you come when you want to do something about files. And then you have the home tab. The home tab contains the most commonly used tools in Word, such as changing the fonts, the size of your texts, among other things. So this contains mostly the most commonly used tools. And then you have the insert tab. The insert tab contains all the things you need when you want to insert objects into your document. If you want to insert a picture in your document, a chart, a hyperlink, a video, whatever you want to insert, you have to come to the insert tab. These are the tools. You want to even insert a page number, you come here. And then the next tab is the design tab. Now the design tab contains tools that you need when you want to change the appearance of your Word document. You want to change the design the look and feel of it. And then the next tab is the layout tab. Okay, this layout tab, this is where you come when you want to change the layout of your document or your program, the way things are arranged on the screen. You may want to customize the look of your Word program or your document. So this is where you come, the layout tab. And then when you come to the reference tab, you could insert a lot of things from here you could create a lot of things from here like table of contents you could insert citations and a whole lot of things here we're going to do a lot more about this one in the future video then you also have mailings tab this is where you come when you want to create a mailing list and things of that nature we also have the review tab now, as the word implies review, you have finished your work and you're going through. You want to review what you have done. For instance, you want to check the spelling. 
you want to check the meaning of words this is what uh, where you come and then you have the view tab this is where you um, come when you want to change how word looks to you okay different ways to see word so we have taken a look at the ribbon and then the tabs now on top of the ribbon we have something called the quick access toolbar you see that the tabs are quite a number and some tools that you need to work with may be far away you know you may have to come here to find something but if you want the tools that you use most frequently to be close to you that is when you come to the quick access toolbar this is it here so there is only one thing here this is save you see if I want to save normally I would have to click on file and then this opens and I click save but if I want a shortcut I will simply click save I click here and then it saves my document okay so in case there are some other tools which I use so often and I want them to be close by I, will, I can add more tools to it to the quick access toolbar to do that I would simply click here you see that it has save it has undo and redo what if I want to create a new file I add this to it new you see that new has been added to it let me add another thing I want to add open you see open so that when I'm opening documents I don't have to go to file open I'll simply click here and then it tries to open the document for me that is why it is called the quick access toolbar okay now let's look even more at this uh, ribbon okay the ribbon has something here you see the ribbon is there and the tabs are here it's a hierarchy you have the ribbon on top followed by the tab now if I go to the tab under the tab we have groups under the home tab you have the clipboard group the font group paragraph groups that means the tools are arranged logically they are arranged together in a logical manner the the tools that are related to each other are grouped together you can see it when you go to insert you have pages tables illustrations so it is broken down into manageable bits you have the tab you have the groups the ribbon the tab and the group and then also you have the document area this is where you type your document so I'm going to type something here this is a test document so this is where you type your documents okay this is it and then they at the bottom of it all you can see this thin horizontal bar here this is called the status bar now the status bar tells you gives you information about what is happening on your document for instance it's telling me now that I have one page this is page one of one and it's also telling me that I have typed five words in my document so you can count the words in your document five words if I say this is to add more words you can see I now have 11 words okay so that is what the status bar is for it gives you information you also have the ruler at the top here and at the bottom the ruler acts as a guide to you you know that this is one inch this is the actual size this is actually one inch from here to here so it guides you in placing objects on your document and then you also have the zoom control which is close to the status bar is right here the zoom control you can zoom out and then zoom in okay depending on what you actually want to do at any particular time okay so this is the first lesson in Microsoft Word and in this lesson we have taken a look at the interface what you see when you look at word 
In the next lesson, we're going to be looking at creating our first document. So until I see you in the next lesson, bye for now.